What's going on guys, Roll here with Seek Find Play, bringing you some more uh, Amiibo content. Uh, this time I am going to attempt to be doing a custom Amiibo. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is uh, Retro City Games is having a custom Amiibo contest. So I want to enter it, of course. Um, obviously there's prizes, you get some uh, little bit of store credit uh, for first, second, and third. Uh, but mainly I just wanted to see how I would do. Um, but yeah. So the amiibo that I'm going to be working with is, uh, well you guys probably saw from the th thumbnail, uh, it's going to be Luigi. I actually had an extra one and it worked out kind of perfect because I've been thinking of doing something like, like I had an idea uh, and I haven't seen anybody else uh, even attempt it. Um, well maybe they have, I just haven't seen it. I'm um, part of a few Facebook amiibo groups and also our amiibo on Reddit and I have yet to see somebody um, do it. So. I'm going to show you guys right now what my idea is going to be. Um, hopefully it turns out awesome. I feel like he is almost in a perfect pose for it. And um, and it shouldn't be too hard to pull off. Uh, now, uh, what I'm going to be using is... Uh, these are just tools that I figured I would need. Uh, I went out and got some Sculpty. Uh, this is super sculpty. Uh, I got this because you don't necessarily have to bake this. Uh, I've seen other people use this and what they do is they will dip it in boiling water for a little bit which will make it harden. Uh, and then you can sand it, paint over it, all that good stuff. Um, of course an X-Acto knife. Uh, I went out and bought some of these oh, cheapo sculpting tools. They were just a couple of bucks. Um, just in case I needed them. And I went and borrowed a Dremel. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a Dremel is, it's like a little, it's like a little, little rotary tool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using it, but it was nice to just have, especially because I could just borrow it from somebody. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm not too sure on the paint scheme yet, so uh, I'm going to wait till farther down the line because this is going to take me a couple of days. I'm going to do a little bit here and there. Of course, I'm going to film it all. Uh, uh, yeah. So, we'll, uh, we'll decide later. Um, uh, now, uh, for those of you wondering, like, my experience with painting and stuff, uh, I have painted before. I'll show you guys as, as I'm talking. Uh, I used to be, not big, but I used to be into, uh, War Warhammer and Malifaux. Um, but I was one of those guys that actually collect, you know, the collector in me. Uh, I would collect and paint them a lot more than I would actually play the game. So I do have some painting experience, but by, by no means am I the best. Now, I've never sculpted before, so um, that should be fun to try it out. Uh, and yeah, so those are the tools that I'm going to be using. Uh, let's go ahead and open this uh, this guy up. Now the way I opened it is I just went ahead and cut the uh, the bottom so I'd get a flap because uh, I'm thinking of putting him back in and actually giving it to Retro City Games so um, whether I win or not so yeah and now the reason I'm filming this is just in case it comes out awesome also I want to see the work that I put in how long it takes uh, even if it sucks uh, It'll help me, I guess, better myself for future uh, customs. So yeah, let's get this guy opened up. This is actually as many Amiibos as I own. This is the first one I've ever opened. So let's uh, let's do this. Oh man, look at that! Now you see how it just comes right out. Oh, you can just pop the flap back in, put a little bit of tape. Actually, it even stays. Uh, and it will look, you know, good as new. So, oh wow. This is the first amiibo I've actually ever held. And there he is. So, uh, oh yeah, I think this, this should work out okay. Hopefully I don't screw this up. So yeah, uh, I'm going to start uh, getting him ready and we'll see what happens. So, first things first, I need to take this hat off. I'm going to do that. Uh, 
<laughs> Weird. It's that Luigi mullet. That is pretty much it. That's all that I'm going to be doing cutting wise. I'm going to shave off a little bit off the top here. Yeah. Weird. That circle is going to help me define that separation. Let's be creative here. What do we have? What do we have? Hmm. So, I have a little uh, tool here, and the back end is not perfect, but it's, I think it'll work. Let's try it out. So if that's like this, it'll go right over his ear. I'm not going back now. So this is where I'm stopping for today. Continue it up again tomorrow. See where I get. All right guys, so this is where we stand right now. I have uh, pretty much finished the molding phase of uh, Luigi. Let's see if we can get a focus here. So this is what he uh, is going to look like. Uh, as you can see, not everything is armor. Uh, I wanted to keep that like cartoony feel to it because, I mean, it is Luigi. I didn't want it to just be like a Luigi face inside a uh, Iron Man armor. Uh, I wanted to keep it, uh, you know, Super Mario-y, cartoony and all that stuff. And also made him one of these so essentially the the mask is gonna sit atop of the head um, can't really it's a little Iron Man mask yeah this, looks, this works a lot better when I put my hand on it there we go that you can 
can see the detail and stuff. I went ahead and moved his, his hands. And there's like little uh, jets that he flies with. So uh, that back there is uh, boiling water. Uh, obviously you guys know I am using Super Sculpey. A uh, trick to hardening Super Sculpey is to put it in boiling water. Because uh, obviously I can't put Luigi in the oven because he'll die. So uh, once this water gets going, uh, we'll get it hardened up and then we will be ready for paint. All right, so what I'm doing now, uh, it's kind of late, but I wanted to test out some uh, some paints before I actually committed. And I think this came out pretty good. Uh, this is the gold that I'm going to be using, which I think came out pretty good. I'm just going to do something to the eyes to make them pop a little bit more. And uh, I'm going to do a black wash in all the little crevices. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is that way I don't have to worry about them later. Um, I don't have to poke at them with the actual color that I'm going to be using. Uh, I'd rather have a, a small wash um, that's going to get in there. If you notice, like on the sides right here, I did a little bit just as a test. Kind of gives that a little bit of depth and uh, fills it in, I guess. Uh, now it kind of looks like his face is like deep in there. Maybe that's just me, but I, I like the way it looks. So I'm going to do them for all these little holes, all these little lines. Uh, that way I can just go over with the paint. Don't have to worry about that little detail. Uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do tonight and then uh, finish it up tomorrow. Alright guys, so here is the finished product. Uh, sorry about the lighting, I thought it was a bit brighter in there, but you should still be able to see everything pretty good. Um, overall, I am very happy with how it came out. It came out a lot better than I thought it would, uh, seeing as I've never done something like this. So, uh, the detail came out really nice. Uh, the whole, I guess, cartoony and Luigi aspect of it uh, that I wanted to keep really, really stayed, which I'm very, very happy about. Um, the paint was surprisingly easy, uh, and it didn't take very long at all, so, uh, yeah, the project, uh, I think, turned out to be a su success. Um, I feel like it's a lot better than, than I envisioned it, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I spent, um, I would say, within the two days, um, uh, maybe ten hours on it, uh, if that. Uh, right here I show, uh, this is something I didn't show in the video, I actually magnetized the mask and the, and the 
in the head. So when you pop the mask on, uh, it stays in place. Oop, like that. So, yeah, little things here and there that I added uh, just because I thought they would be cool. But, yeah, overall, uh, big success. I am happy. Uh, hopefully I win that contest. So, yeah, uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the video. Uh, leave a comment below uh, with your thoughts. Uh, give me some input uh, what you guys think, if I should keep doing this, if I should stop, if you hate me, all that good stuff. Uh, also, uh, be sure to check out our other video. We're still doing our, um, our 50 subscriber contest, so you can win some pretty cool games there. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and uh, yeah.